Hey guys, John here. Today we're in Falcon 3, and today we're gonna make a nice analog dirty lead. So check it out. We're gonna make something like this. And in context with our track. Okay, so let's get to work. A little quick overview of this guy here. We're basically using two oscillator, two analogs here, and then we're also using the new ladder filter, which is really nice. And then some EQ, some analog chorus, a little bit of clipping here. And at the top of the program level, we have some tape delay, some spark verb, and a maximizer. So this one's not too crazy. So let's go ahead and open up a fresh version of a Falcon, and then let's go to the top and then new program. Okay, so the first thing is we need to add our oscillator. So let's go to our oscillator category, and then we're gonna need one analog here. We can put this at the top because we want all of our keys to play this. And by default, this is gonna be a sine wave, so let's change this to a saw. Give this two voices of unison here, but it's stereo. And really it's up to you how far you want to detune it or how, how far to spread it. That might be kind of fine, and then a little bit of detuning. Something I kind of like as well, especially on the phase spread, is instead of going to exponential, going to random. I think for a patch like this, it has a little bit, a uh, little bit better result, I guess. So we can add another one here by dragging the analog here, or we can click the plus sign up here and just add another analog that way. And if this chain is selected for you, make sure to turn this off. And then for the second one here, let's go to our course tune and put negative 12. So we're dropping this down an octave and then making another saw wave. So we're going to get that nastiness there. Okay, so moving on from here, we need to go to the key group and add a uh, filter. And we put it on the key group because our modulations, the note on and off, will only be registered on the key groups. So we need to put the filter there. So go to our filter, and we're gonna be using the new one called Ladder, which is actually very nice. Okay, so we need to right click on our cutoff, go to add modulation, and for this one down to key group, and then add new analog ADSR. And we need to dial in this envelope a little bit. So maybe we can bring our sustain kind of low like that. And then a good amount of decay. And then reduce our depth down over here. And then also increase the release as well. And then for our amp envelope, we do want a good amount of release too. Okay, we're kind of getting here, and now we need to add a little bit of resonance. And it's kind of up to you how bright or how dark you want this as far as where the cutoff is and how much of that modulation. And we can always reduce the depth with our slider here. Once we click a different button here, it's going to change. But once we go back to our cutoff, then we can see our slider down here. Okay, so from here, what we can do is go to our layer and maybe we can add an EQ here. So let's go to a filter or a e equalizer and then go to our digital and then default and kind of just scope out what we want and what we don't want. And then maybe do a little bit of compression, which we didn't do in the last one, but maybe a little bit could be kind of nice here. So we go to our dynamic, and then we can use the feedback compressor, which is one of my favorites here.
Okay, and maybe add a little bit of diode clipping to get a nice a little bit of hair onto here. So let's go to our drive distortion. And then we have our diode clipper, which is also one of my favorites here. Clean up the sound a little bit more. And also on the amp envelope, we can maybe do a little bit of attack here. And increase the oversampling if we'd like to to four. And we can do a couple other things to kind of make this a little bit more analog. So especially on our cutoff, we can right click this here and we can go to add modulation and then we can scroll down to other and then maybe do a random, which is kind of interesting here. So we now have this random basically kind of, <laughs> I guess, random thing here. So we really need a small amount because this is a huge range and right now it's at one. So if we double click this here and put like 0 0.01, something like that. Or maybe even just 0.1. Our cutoff is never really gonna be at the very same spot every single time. It's gonna kind of move with every note. And that's kind of cool because it gives a little bit of that unpredictability to it. Okay, we have something pretty cool to work with right here. So we can close some of these now and we can add a little bit of effects that might be kind of nice. But even, ooh, you know what, before we move on to effects, let's change the playing mode here on our layer from poly to pol poly portamento and kind of have a little bit of portamento because it's kind of nice in a song like this. So even though Falcon do, can do so much stuff, you can really get a nice gritty kind of analog sound here. Now we're ready for some effects. So let's go to our program layer. We can kind of even put them here if we'd like to. Really depends on what you're going for, but for a patch like this, we could put it on the layer. We could put it on the program. I'll put it on the program just because I kind of want to, and I'm not really gonna add anything else to this program. So it's just gonna be what it is here. So with that being said, what's kind of nice here, go to our effects, and then we have the nice analog chorus, which we can drop down here. And then this intensity is gonna be a little much. So we can kind of bring this back down, maybe to like one or something, kind of fade it in. And I might even increase our cutoff here just a little bit. be kind of nice so we have a little bit of chorus now we also want some delay and what's cool as well especially in our uh, effects here we can use the analog tape delay, tape delay which is nice so when this comes on by default it's not it's going to be in milliseconds here so on the top right where this metronome icon is let's go ahead and click that and then we can take it from 16 dotted to eighth notes which is going to be fine that's kind of a lot so let's increase our dry to 100 and bring our mix down to zero and kind of fade it into where we'd like it might be kind of nice.
It's already a lot of fun as well. So one of the last things we would need is going to be reverb. So let's go to our reverb. We could use the impulse, but we can use the spark verb, which is also really great too. So quite a lot of reverb. So we can dial down our mix a little bit here and then maybe increase our decay just a little bit and then reduce the high decay. So kind of the high frequencies kind of decay a little bit faster. Still be a little bit too much reverb. So dial this down a little bit more here. We don't need too much reverb on a sound like this because one, we have our delay gun going on. We have some long release tails, so that's kind of going on too. So just a little reverb can kind of just put this all in together. And then one of our last things, we can either put another diode clipper, which we might, we could need, we could experiment, but we can also just do our maximizer and kind of just finish it off and glue everything that way. So now to our drive distortion, we can go to, or the dynamic, let's go to our maximizer and bring this all the way to the top and kind of just slowly bring it into where we feel is right. <laughs> So something kind of like that here. And then at the very, very end here, down over here, we can add this plus and then go to the uh, EQ and then do some final EQing for the very end process if we like something like that. <laughs> And just small little moves like that and let's see how this sounds together. For this filter cutoff here for the sustain, I kind of maybe want to bring it a little bit more. And then for our random as well, if we click this here, we see our random down over here. And our value is 0.1, so maybe we can do 0.05, something kind of like that. Maybe for, we could do that maybe for the resonance as well, but I think this is kind of okay for now. And so it doesn't get too cluttered. What we can do as well, if we go up to the top, let's kind of clear this up a little bit here. So we're kind of looking at things a little bit more small, but we can go to the program and maybe we can do polyphony, maybe instead of 16, maybe we can do like two or three. We just do four, something kind of like that. So one, we save CPU, and here at the bottom, we have a max of four. Let's 
kind of nice with a little bit more resonance. Yeah, that is a pretty fun patch to make. Falcon is a little bit slower at the process, but with that slower, you basically can do whatever you want. So if you want this patch, if you want to bring this into your session or kind of look at it, maybe change it from here, whatever you want to do, there's a free link in the video description below. Hopefully you learned something and we'll see you in the next video.